Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for joining us today. I would like to tell you about the best practice that I I have done in seven uh, vocational high school where there were uh, around 85 teachers that uh, have involved in this activity. Uh, the strategy that I use is Meliu Molio, it uh, an abbreviation for menganalisa and then uh, meluaskan mindset, melakukan yang terbaik. Okay, so uh, we make it into the acronym of Melu Molio. Uh, firstly, we do some observation. We did some observation for all the vocational high school. And then we also use uh, another instrument that is the need analysis. Uh, we created uh, assessment diagnostic, non-cognitive, where there, there were five questions relating to uh, differentiated learning instruction. The product of this strategy, of this best practice is about Uh, creating the RPP or lesson plan or in curriculum Merdeka, we call it with the module ajar, where in this module ajar, they can create the uh, content, the process, and also the learning environment, content, process, product, and learning environment in their own classes. And then after that, we can also uh, consult with the supervisor of the school, that is me. And also they can communicate with their colleagues. In order to have the good performance in the class, a teacher usually uh, plan first their lesson plan. It depends on the duration of the time for the material. And then also they can uh, insert Uh, the best thing that is the strategy and their method or methodology. Some methods that uh, we inform for them are were project-based learning, problem-based learning, discovery learning, and other methods. But uh, mostly they preferred to practice with the project-based learning. It means that uh, in this lesson plan, the methods they use is project-based learning. And then they combine it with the differentiated learning instructions uh, where they can choose whether they use all the parts, that is the content, process, product, and learning environment, or they can choose one or two, one or two or four. But uh, in fact, they have to prepare all the instrument for this. For example, for content, in content, If we aware that uh, there are for learning profile that is uh, auditory, kinesthetic, reading and writing, and also the visual, visual learning type or learning style, teacher also have to prepare all the content of the material for them. If they choose the second, the second thing that is on process, it means that Uh, during the learning process in the class, indoor or outdoor, they have also prepared uh, some, uh, rela something related to the process. It could be using uh, the spoken, spoken cycle, that is using uh, speaking and listening, or the written cycle, whether they use the reading text or written text for it. And also, they can also create depends on the multiple intelligence where uh, Howard uh, described it into eight uh, intelligence. Some of them uh, are linguistic and then verbal, kinesthetic, and also interpersonal and interpersonal. And if they choose the product, It means that it depends on the interaction that the student or I think the teacher use for the students. The power of the instruction that uh, were given from the teacher to the students uh, determine the kinds of product that the student uh, use or create. And the last one is about le learning material, uh, learning environment. 
when we talk about the learning environments, there are many things that the teacher have to prepare. For example, about the flexible seating. In flexible seating, teacher can use uh, the big class, the medium class, and also uh, peer, peer teaching. In Indonesia, we call it with tutor sebaya, or it could be the individual tax. Those are the main point of differentiated learning instruction. Uh, we can conclude that all the teacher's uh, steps can be uh, combined into four things, that is content, process, product, and learning environment. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.